Hi, uh, I'm Lorraine with Accessing Health. And those of you that are using our remote with Y adapter or our Via DNA Plus remote, which has the Y adapter, adapter built in, I would like to recommend you adjust the settings for your frequency programs to what we call carrier kill. And I'm going to show you how to do that in the settings of the Spookadoo software for the frequency presets that you're currently running. And the reason it's important, Lewis, who's my business partner and husband, as you know, uh, discovered over the past year some settings that have proven to be more effective than the previous settings we've been using for our remote mode. Um, and the settings I'm about to show you are only more effective if you're using our remotes with, with our Y adapters. So it'll look something like this. Here's our remotes with the Y adapters. There's the Y adapters. Or it'll look something like this, which are our remotes with the Y adapters built in. By the way, the settings for the contact mode has changed also, but that's a separate video, okay? And for easy access to the document that shows the new settings for, again, the remote mode, you would go to our website, which is accessing-health.com, and then you would hover over the support section, come down here and select documents. And as you can see, there's some information about remote mode settings. And what you want to do is you want to select the carrier kill. There's the picture of what it, what it should look like. That way you know you can go to that for easy access. Okay, and since the amplitude, and there's the amplitude right there. The amplitude, see where it says amplitude 7 and 7? Okay, so the amplitude is one of the settings to change, and we need to briefly discuss, you know, how to decide which amplitude is right for you to start off with, with these new settings. Uh, and how to determine when it's appropriate to raise the voltage level, which is the amplitude. amplitude. So let me first show you the graph Lewis created. And to find the graph, again, you go to the website and you could come down, come down a little, a little bit further. And you see that it's called bar graph of amplitude and power. There's a lot of information right here you can read. But if you click on that, It'll give you this, it'll show you this graph. And let me just, just go through it real quickly. Uh, you need to be careful which amplitude you select. And when you understand this, you'll know why. Okay, so let's say the prior settings you were running like a 9. Well, this current new settings, that 9 is probably going to be a 7. And the reason why, you see this number here, 6, 7, 8, the first number at the top, 9, 10, that is, represents amplitude. And the number underneath that, in this case, would be 515, 698, 906, and on. That would rep that's the power, which in picowatts. Okay, so let's say you were running a 9 before, it's it's really more like a seven because of the power that's coming out in the new settings. And then also the other thing to remember is look at the six right here, the six, which is the voltage uh, amplitude voltage. Uh, the, the power in picowatts is 515 and the 12, which is double six plus six is 12. You can see it's four times the power. So you don't, want to raise it up in big, you know, increments. You want to slowly, um, you know, raise the amplitude when your body gets used to the frequencies. Okay. So I just want to show you that this document, Lewis is going to post it probably on our website, but it kind of explains a little bit about Herxheimer and why you need to, you know, really understand this a little bit. I'm going to go through it real quickly. Herxheimer is the, it's a natural process that happens when the toxins are expelled. 
and bad stuff, you know, like harmful microorganisms and bacteria, they start to die off in your body. So sometimes there's a there's a traffic jam and uh, Herxheimer just means your body's detoxing too fast. And some people experience Herxheimer within the first two hours of running the new settings. Some of them, some people, you know, experience it like within two days and others experience it, you know, after like a couple weeks and some it takes about a month. But uh, just, to, just to give you an idea what some of the temporary symptoms, it can take on any one or more of these. So it can be one of these, a couple of these. Uh, I, don't, I just want you to be aware of what to look for in case you have the amplitude too high and you need to lower it. So flu-like symptoms, irritability, joint or muscle pain, exhaustion, a temporary rash, like a rush or skin bumps that, that uh, break out. Dizziness, bloating, brain fog, swollen glands, sensitive, sensitivity to light, constipation, diarrhea, fatigue, headaches, nausea, or a return of old symptoms that previously disappeared. So I don't want you to be afraid of these. Uh, just be aware that when your body's detoxing too fast. Okay. And by the way, the best thing to, the best way to avoid that is just to drink a lot of water. Drink a lot of water. It's very important. And if possible, uh, get a little bit more rest or just plan on getting an extra hour of sleep every night when you're rifing. That's what I do sometimes. I just know I'm going to need an extra hour than before. Or sometimes just, sometimes just doing these two things, drinking a lot of water and getting more sleep, getting more rest, you can avoid the Herxheimer symptoms. But if you do have the symptoms, don't panic. Just either pause your generator for one to three days some people it's one day, sometimes it's some people it's three days for the symptom, symptoms to subside. Uh, and then after that, after the symptoms go away, then you can simply resume your frequencies. Or uh, Lewis likes to recommend just keep the frequencies running, but just lower the amplitude a notch. Okay, then later you can raise it back up after your body gets used to the, the new settings. And uh, I would give it a couple of weeks or a month before raising the voltage back up, the amplitude back up. Eventually, you're going to find the amplitude that works for you, okay? And remember, if you're changing frequencies, like let's say you got test results and they found different pathogens, your body may not tolerant, tolerate the previous amplitude with the completely different set of pathogens, okay? So be flexible with the amplitude. What we're going to do here demonstrate how to change your settings and by the way the first thing i want to do is i want you to notice at the top upper left side right here it says spooky 2 john white this is the version you need to have uh, in order for the settings to work right so it needs to say 2019 so this represents September 3rd, 2019. It needs to be this version, okay? If it's not this version, just call Lewis and we'll get the right version for you, okay? All right. So now click on control here. And the first thing you need to do when you're going to change anything, let's say this is your program running. This one says Angel right here. Let's say this is one of your programs. By the way, just ignore all the red boxes here. This is a mock program that I'm using, okay? So you're only going to see, you should be running your programs. If so, you're going to see two two or more green boxes here. That just means your, your frequencies are running. So what you're going to do is you're going to hit stop. And as you can see, it turns dark red there. Let's change the settings to the new settings, the updated settings. Let's say you were running uh, a 9 voltage, an amplitude of 9 before. You definitely want to lower it a couple notches because these are, again, they're more powerful settings. And I'm going to change it to 7. And let's say you were running an 8 before. You want to change it to uh, a 6. But in this case, I'm changing both of these to 7. All right, and then... Here's the, here's the instructions, so I'm going to follow the instructions, and you can see offset needs to be 50-50, so here we go. 
I'm going to, okay, so 50 and 50. And the next one, we want it to be, all these are going to be disabled and none. Okay, so we're going to change it. In the wobble section, frequency wobble, we're going to click on this and hit disable. There we go. Over here, that really didn't change. Most of you are running the square wave on both outputs. But what did, what is going to change is instead of output, Instead of selecting output two equal, we're going to hit output out one fixed at, and we're going to change this number. So just backspace all that out. <laughs> okay, so you're going to change it to, and here's the instructions. It's 2977792. Two, nine, seven, 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 nine, two. two, nine, seven, 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 nine, two. Here we go. So let's come over here to, to presets. And just remember the one I stopped, I'm going to come back over here, the one I stopped was Angel. Okay, so that's the one we're going to come to presets. Just remember that, don't click on anything over here by the way. <laughs> just remember this is the one we're going to change, the 825. And the reason why it's important to remember is when you hit the save button, so single left click in that, in that on the on the save button right there, it's going to open a window, and you're going to click on that one. That's the program that you stopped. You didn't stop this other one yet. Okay. All right. So it's going to fill in there the same name, and you just simply hit save. The reason why we're doing this, it's going to save the new settings we just created for this same program, okay? So single left click on save, alrighty, and then we can go ahead and start that one. So click, it on, click on it, that same one. You can check settings, make sure it saved it. Yep, it sure did. 7-7, seven, seven, 50, 50 you disabled that. And it has the out one fixed at 2977792. Now we can start that program. Click on control. You'll need to check the allow generator overrides box up here. Then you're going to select the you know the dark dark red one, which is the one we stopped earlier. Select that and then simply hit start and it turns green over here. So now I'm going to demonstrate how to pause and resume. Let's say you you started experiencing, I don't know, exhaustion. You felt exhausted or you had some brain fog, whatever. Let's just pause your program. So you simply hit pause. You can see how it turned yellow. And let's say you had another program and you want to pause that too. You already changed the settings on both of your programs. You want to go over here, click on that green one, and then you want to pause that one too. And so now they're both paused. You can see they're yellow. And then let's say a couple days later, you're feeling better. You can just simply hit pause again to resume. You see it turn green. And then you want to click on this. Uh, the two, and then you hit pause again to resume it. So there you go. They're both green now, and they're both running. Again, you can either pause your programs temporarily and resume them if you're feeling Herxheimer symptoms, or you can lower your your amplitude. So let's say you want to lower the amplitude on on it. You have in this case, if you lower it, you have to stop it and see how it turns dark red. The reason you have to stop it is because anytime you change a setting, it has to be, it can't be just paused. So let's say I want to lower it to a six on both of these, you know, because it's too, too uh, powerful for me or so, you know, having some symptoms. And I don't have to save this. I don't have to save this because I want to eventually get back up to seven again, right? 
So you just go to control. You got to check the allow generator overwrites because you did make a change. And then you're going to click on that, that generator and then hit start. Let's see. So it's go, it's, it's going. Okay. Now, again, now you have those two that are green and I'm just going back and yes, it did. It, it changed, you know, it saved, it didn't, basically shows that it's six. And then later on, say you want to raise it back up again. Let's say a month later, you're feeling great. You want to stop it. Go back to seven. You've done that. Hit control again. Allow generate overwrites. Click the, the, the one that's not running. And then you hit start. And there you go. It's running again. Okay. Hope this helps. If you have any questions, give us a call. Aloha.